Hello, welcome to Accounting Space. Uh, in this video, uh, we want to look at the calculation of missing figures uh, in the uh, fixed asset notes. So we've got the note that we have here, which is information number 18. Uh, it, uh, this is notes are from the financial segment, so equipment columns for property plant equipment, that is related buildings, equipment, and vehicles. So all the given figures there, uh, we are not using given figures, is there to find some of the missing figures that we have uh, in the uh, in the note. So uh, we also have extra information that you need to go through uh, before you start to answer the question. Then uh, on the required part, uh, we are going to start with our first part, which is 3.1.1, we say calculate, calculate the following, and 3.1.1 is calculate the fixed uh, asset percent. So going to our notes, uh, you can see that uh, we have got related buildings, equipment and vehicles, but other equipment and vehicles, we are seeing that uh, in additions, uh, that's where we're going to get the figures, which were the figure of uh, uh, value, which was purchased, but you see that uh, other equipment is zero, and then other vehicles is zero, which means that we do not have anything that was purchased during the period, but only uh, we are seeing a question mark under the buildings, which is that's where we've got something purchased for related buildings, uh, and then the buildings doesn't depreciate. So yeah, so uh, the change in the cost uh, represents uh, the change uh, uh, in the uh, value of the fixed assets. Uh, so here we've got 375,300 in the beginning. Uh, and then at the end, we have uh, 3,750,400. So the difference between the two is going to give us uh, the, uh, uh, the related building that, uh, that we have purchased. Remember, uh, it's an increase here that we are seeing from 375,300 to 3,750,400. Mm -hmm. So we are just going to find the difference between the two and then we find uh, the fixed assets that were purchased. So going here, see that uh, this is our uh, 3.1.1. So we are saying uh, 3,750,400. Uh, 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 and then we subtract your 975,300. So if you subtract correctly there, you are going to get your 2,775,100. Uh, so uh, you so uh, having that, we refer back now to see in terms of the uh, next question that we have, uh, which is now on the calculate the depreciation of the vehicles. So uh, the second next question needs us to calculate uh, the depreciation that we have uh, on our uh, vehicles. So obviously, we are going to also refer back uh, there and see that the vehicles is last column. And we see uh, the terms of calculating the depreciation of vehicles is here on item uh, on point number two here. It reads depreciation on vehicles is provided at 20% on the diminishing balance method. So um, we know that uh, when we're using diminishing balance method, the formula that we use is percentage times carrying value. And first of all, you have to find the uh, the carrying value by saying carrying value is equal to your cost minus accumulation depreciation at the beginning of the period. So you see that um, for vehicles at the beginning of the period, we've got 382,800. Uh, and the whole 140,800 is our accumulated depreciation. But you check if there are any additions or uh, any disposals that took place during the period. So you can you see that depreciation of the vehicles, uh, we have got the first point saying a vehicle was sold at carrying value on the last day of the financial period. Very important. Uh, so this one, it means it was there for the whole year. Uh, it, was, it was sold on the last day of the financial period. So it was there for 12 months. So we are not going to make any proportionate calculation in terms of the depreciation of that uh, vehicle because uh, that vehicle was there for 12 months. But if uh, th that vehicle was um, uh, sold, uh, maybe uh, uh, in the middle of the year, or maybe after five months, uh, after five months uh, during the year, it means uh, we are just going to make a proportion of maybe uh, the total depreciation for the year, then we might have a five but go. But in this case, we are, going, we are just going to include the, the, the calculation in the uh, other uh, other vehicles that we are there for the whole year. So we are just going to say uh, 382,800 the answer that we are going to get, then you might have a 0.2. Uh, because the, uh, after subtracting, you get your carrying value, then you multiply by 0 0.2. The uh, figure that you are going to get there would be the depreciation for the 12 months. So uh, we come here, uh, we are going to say, uh, it's now 3.1.2. So we are saying 20% 20, uh, 20 is 20 over 100. We multiply by cost. Uh, the cost that we have there is uh, 382,800. So we are saying 382,000. Uh, 800, then we subtract the accumulated depreciation, which is 146,800. Then, uh, then as 146,800, and then uh, you, uh, you are going to get your answer. And if you try to uh, simplify it further, see that if you add it into uh, 20, you're going to get your 0.2. Then you multiply by the difference there that you are going to get, which is 236,000. If you say 8,800 minus 146,800, you're going to get your 236,000. So you're going to see. 
256,000. Then the final answer that we are supposed to get and now uh, will be 47,200. So you've got uh, 47,200. So this is uh, what we have. Then uh, we go there now to uh, see in terms of the next question that we have. But the next question uh, is saying calculate the deposits of fixed assets uh, sold. Proceeds of the fixed assets are sold. So uh, fixed assets sold, we come here, we see that. Uh, we have a uh, disposal at carried value. That's why I go to fixed assets if they are fixed assets that are sold. Question mark, we are seeing it other vehicles. So it means there are only vehicles uh, that we are disposed. So we go to the information to see what it say about that. Uh, if you see, come here, you see that uh, a vehicle was sold at carried value. Very important. Uh, so uh, that's what was received for disposal at carrying value. So at carrying value means uh, the uh, the the cost of that uh, fixed assets minus the could depreciation of that fixed asset that was sold up to the date uh, that uh, it was sold. So from the day it was bought to the day it was sold, uh, is the complete depreciation of that vehicle that was uh, disposed. So let, let's just try to uh, see. It. So we are saying. So we are saying here yeah, our. To get the, the value for our uh, uh, carried value of the fixed asset that was disposed, uh, it's, of course, we have it here. That's the figure that we are looking for. So to get it, uh, you can try to first uh, present it in the form of a T account, and then you can come up with the formula from there. Uh, remember, uh, to get our our disposal at carried value, we can uh, represent it in the form of a T account, whereby we say uh, operating balance on the debt side at carried value. Uh, and then we, we put a closing balance at credit value on the credit side. And depreciation for the A come on the credit side. And then disposal, uh, disposal for the A come on the uh, credit side. Disposal for the A at credit value come on the credit side. Uh, so, and also we have uh, additions. Uh, additions, if the additions, something that was purchased for that other current asset, so this is the non-current asset account that we use to calculate uh, usually a disposable credit value or even addition. So you can also use it uh, depending on the missing figure. So uh, this, uh, these are the components that we have. So basically we are saying uh, the items that we are having there, we are having uh, carrying, uh, uh, closing balance at carrying value, depletion for the year, disposal uh, for the uh, disposal, not for the year, but disposal at carrying value. So we are saying here, yeah. Uh, disposal uh, at carrying value. So uh, this is exactly how we are going to present it. So in this case, uh, there are no additions of vehicles, but there is only disposal that we want to find. So this one is not there, so we can just maybe remove it according to this calculation. And then the figure that we are looking for is here, which is a disposal at carrying value. So we can always find this by saying, um, uh, if you go down to our uh, to our figures that we are given, we are given that uh, at the beginning, uh, that's where I'm going to have carried value at the beginning here. 382,800 uh, we, we got 236,000, which is uh, the carried value at the beginning. So it's going to come here, uh, 236,000 uh, on the debt side. Then at the end, we are saying 172,800 uh, minus 83,000. Get the carried value at the end, 172,800. Minus eighty three thousand, and then you are going to get your eighty nine thousand eight hundred. So it means eighty nine thousand eight hundred to be on the credit side. So this is the one that we have here, closing closing balance at the it carries value at the end. So uh, so having that now, depreciation for the year we calculated it. Uh, depreciation for the year is uh the, this depreciation that we calculated on three point one point two forty seven two hundred. So it comes on the credit side. It's this one. Uh, depreciation for the year forty seven thousand. 200. So the figure that we are looking for is this one disposal at carrying value, which is, which is the one that we are looking for. So you can make a uh, complete and the difference. So to get this figure now, you can get it as a balancing figure by saying now 236,000 minus 89,800 minus 47,200. Then we can now find uh, the the balancing figure, which is going to be the uh, disposal at carrying value. Uh, so uh, if you go to our question, uh, let's just try to refer back to our question. 
Our question is saying calculate the proceeds of fixed asset, fixed or tangible asset sold. So um the fixed uh, the the fixed asset that was sold was the vehicle, but it was sold at carried value. So if you get the carried value, you get the uh the uh, proceeds. So that's what we have there. So we are going just going to uh, do a size two hundred thirty thousand minus eighty nine thousand eight hundred minus forty seven thousand two hundred. So we come here. Uh, we are saying uh, three. Uh, point one, uh, point three, whereby we are saying 236,800, and then we subtract your 89,800, then we subtract your 47,200, uh, 47,200. We calculate it as such, uh, see that the answer that we are supposed to get is 99,000. So this, is, this becomes the disposal. Uh, disposal and carried value, which is also the proceeds. Uh, proceeds equal to 99,000 rands. According to uh, the explanation that we are given in the question, that uh, the, they were sold at carried value, which means uh, the carried value is the proceeds. So uh, this is what we have according to this video. All the calculations of missing figures in the uh, fixed asset not. So let's check it for more videos to come. Let's subscribe and share more typical examples and questions that will come as we prepare for exam. As for this video, I'm signing out. Let's meet again in the next video.